something shameless when we wrong ourselves who have we disappointed Allah Azza wa Jal we've disappointed Allah so naturally shaitan takes advantage of this he comes to you and me and he says you're gonna go pray now you hypocrite you do the shameless thing you do this and that and now you want to go attend a class now you want to go do you know ibadah you are such a two-faced person so this person says to themselves yeah I shouldn't go pray because I'm two-faced Shaitan takes advantage. He distances you from Allah. And we're embarrassed to go before Allah Azza wa Jal. But the true muttaq, he does something wrong. He does something wrong. And immediately what does he do? He remembers Allah. Dhakarullah. There's not even fa, no thumma, nothing. Dhakarullah, immediately. Fastaghfaru li dhunubihim. Then they asked Allah to forgive for their sins. And the word for sins here, dhunub, comes from dhanab actually, a tale. That which you're not proud of. That, that which humiliates you. Something you did that you're not proud of. And they ask Allah to forgive those embarrassing things that they did. وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ ذُنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Who's gonna forgive sins if not Allah? Who's gonna, who are you gonna go to? Where else you gotta go? Who knows the things that you and I have done wrong except ourselves and Allah? There's way, there's a lot of things in our closet that Allah has not exposed. And only Allah knows and we have to find the time to ask Allah to forgive. This is the, the, the main attribute of people that are described that enter Jannah. أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ The ayat are coming. The sandwich between mentions of Jannah. And the last thing I share with you about this, this, this final passage, I was one time I was with my family and we were at a mall. And this other mom, her, her child, she was yelling at her child. This mother was yelling at her child. And the, the kid's crying his head off. And she even gave him a little, you know. But you know where the child went? After he even got hit and yelled at? He's still holding on to the mother. He's not letting go. Everywhere else around, there are these ugly, gigantic strangers. He doesn't want to deal with them. Even if she's angry, even if she's disappointed, even if she's upset, his whole world, his whole shelter, his whole protection, where is he going to go except? His mother. And it made me think, subhanAllah, when you and I sin, when you and I disobey Allah, where are we going to go? Where else is there to go? Who do we turn to? We don't, we don't have anywhere else to turn. So even if we disappoint our Lord, even if we fall short of the standards He set for us, the true muttaq, the hopeful of Jannah, He never loses hope in Allah. لا تقنطوا من رحمة تقنطوا من رحمة الله Don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Don't, you're not allowed to lose hope in the mercy of Allah.